Welcome to Majitoots. In this tutorial you will learn how to indent text in a Canva text box. Unfortunately, Canva doesn't offer this functionality out of the box. So that means to indent text in a Canva text box the only way to get this done is with some workarounds. There are actually two workarounds that you can use. That said, here is workaround 1 to indent text in a Canva text box. First of all, let me press T on my keyboard to insert a text box. Now I'm just randomly going to type some text so that later on we can create our indent. Now workaround 1 to create an indent before the first line of text would simply be to click before the this and then you would simply add space on your keyboard to indent the first line. However, this will often lead to really awkward results. That's especially the case when we have chosen centered here as our alignment type. That said, you maybe want to choose left align to get better results. So let me add another text box by pressing here T on the keyboard. I'm just going to write something randomly. Is a random text for us to show blah blah blah. And now I could and now I could simply left align that and then only after that add some spaces for the first line and that usually creates better results. However, in my opinion there's yet a better workaround to create indents in Canva text box. So let's have a look at workaround number 2. I will just press T on my keyboard to create a text box. Then I will make sure this one is selected and by pressing Command and C on a Mac or Ctrl and C on a Windows PC I will just copy that text, deselect it and then press Command and V on a Mac or Ctrl and V on a Windows PC to paste this text so that I get the same text all over again. I will do that let's say like four times and now let's just imagine that we have four lines of text in this case we could simply reposition each of these lines, make sure that under file um, show guides is turned on and like this we can easily position those four lines here with the same distance between each other both horizontally and vertically and then instead of pressing space on your keyboard we would simply move the text here to the right by repositioning it until we reach the desired result. It seems that the space between the third line and the fourth line is not um, identical so I will just move this down a little bit until it seems right. To make sure everything is aligned perfectly you can also go under file here again and uh, make sure that show rulers is activated. And now to get these rulers inside of the project make sure to hover your mouse over the horizontal ruler until you will see that double arrow then left click on your mouse and drag and drop until the ruler is in the project you can do the same thing with the vertical ruler and as you can see now we have those rulers in our project and like this it will be much easier to make sure that everything's aligned perfectly these rulers are obviously only there as guides so you don't need to worry whenever you're going to download your project or print it these rulers won't be part of your design. Now to get rid of these rulers all you need to do is to left click on the ruler and make sure to place it outside of the design and then let go. The same for our vertical ruler here and we are good. This second method that I just showed you is obviously very useful when we use more elements from Canva's elements library. For example, we maybe want to have a nice little background as a text box for our text and if that is the case we would simply go to elements here, search for text box and then let us just choose this one here maybe and we could simply insert our text inside of that text box, maybe make it a little bit smaller or bigger and we would still have our indent. As you have just seen I have moved all those four lines at once. To move all of these lines at once as I just did before there are actually two methods to do that. The first one would be to make sure to select the first line then you press and hold shift on your keyboard then you select the second one, the third one and the fourth one then you can let go shift and now if you're moving it around with your mouse they will move together. Also at this point to make sure that you don't have to redo that at a later stage it's always good to group things together and you can do that by clicking here on those three dots and then simply click on group. 
Now, even if you deselect this text box with our text, once you will click on it again, all of these four lines of text will be selected together. This is pretty useful because if not, you would have to select each and every line again, which obviously, which is obviously rather annoying as it takes a lot of time. So that's it guys. This is how you indent text in text boxes in Canva. I hope you did indeed enjoy this tutorial. If you did, I would be most grateful if you could smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day, guys. Bye.